Hey everybody, welcome to Beverly Nerd. It's episode 17 for Sunday, June 13, 2010. I'm your host, Jason Coleman, and today we're going to try uh, some drinks and snacks. Is that what we're doing around here? Yes, it is. I've got to show off the shirt. I got a shirt from shirt.woop.com. I give them way too much money. They need to hook me up. But anyways, it's a cross-section of a fire extinguisher with the Diet Cola and the Mentos. I've always wondered how they made that foam. Um, but the drink today is Bowling fruit juice drink. It's made with tamarind flavor, so that should be kind of cool. And our snacks today are two snacks from the same company. Prince Polo Bars! Oh my gosh, they're great! Um, this one is dark chocolate, and this one is hazelnut. Thanks, Great Candy Company, for sending me more flavors to review, because um, that's really nice of you. But first, late breaking story, folks. If you keep up with us on Facebook, which you know you should, you can check out all the links to everywhere you need to do on BevNerd.com. You would know about this contest, so listen up. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash BevNerd. I'm going to post a tweet. All you got to do is retweet it, and you're entered into the contest for a fabulous prize. But it's not a new car. It's actually my care package to one of you fans. It's going to have a shirt. It's going to have a soda. It's going to have a snack and a gift certificate to somewhere really cool. So check that out. Follow me at Twitter, BevNerd. Anyways, let's get to the snacks. Here we are with the two Prince Polo flavors, hazelnut milk chocolate in the green and dark chocolate confection in the gold. Uh, these were previously covered on BevNerd. Um, they're imported from Poland by Great Candy Company, LLC. You can find more information, contact them, and everything else on Facebook and Twitter. Um, their Twitter name is Prince Polo Bars, one word, and you can search for Prince Polo Wafer Bars on Facebook. So let's crack these open and I'll talk about them and taste them. Alright, here I am with the um, hazelnut milk chocolate. I got it open already. I'm going to take a bite. Here is the way it looks. Mm. I really like my hazelnut. Um, it's a really good flavor. As you can see from the bar, it's got the chocolate coating all around, but it's got crisp wafer bars with a chocolate slash hazelnut cream filling. These are really good. These are light and refreshing. They're also a bit wider than the white chocolate one that I've covered before. This is really good too. Mmm. They're so light and crisp. Um, I really enjoy these. And here's the dark chocolate. Let's try this one. While I'm open this, I had a cup of coffee today, um, and I just thought to myself, holy crap, a Prince Polo Bar would go really good with some coffee. But right now it's about 90 million degrees in Alabama, so coffee this late at day, in the day, probably not a good idea. But you might want to try a Prince Polo Bar with a cup of your, your favorite coffee. Mmm. That's really good too. Uh, just like all the other Prince Polo bars, got the milk chocolate, the wafers, and then the cream center, um, or the chocolate in the middle. It's really good too. Um, the thing I found out about Prince Polo bars, they're all good. Each one of them are, uh, has a unique taste that is not comparable to the one you had before. So you really gotta go out and try these flavors because they're just all really good just depending on what you feel like that day. They all taste different and they all taste pretty gosh darn good. So yeah. Hmm. Nontastic. Anyways, let's get on with the Boing, shall we? Here we are with Boing Tamarind Drink. Boing is made by the Mexican soft drink company Pasqual Boing. Um, Pasqual's flagship products are a range of non-carbonated drinks that contain real fruit juice or pulp. The company was founded in 1940 by Victor Zamudio. In 1940, the company began using a mascot and logo based on Disney's Donald Duck, named Peto. Uh, Disney pursued legal action in the 80s that led to a slight alteration in its appearance. They threw a backwards baseball cap on him. Wow. Other flavors are mango, strawberry, grape, apple, orange, guava, pineapple, soursop. The crap is that? And peach. Um, a tamarind itself is a large tropical seed pod with very tangy chocolate-colored pulp. So let's try it. It is now time for the taste test. Something I noticed about the bottle that I really like 
It's got the um, embossed glass um, etching, maybe? I don't know what it's called. It says Boing, so that's kind of cool. Um, I had to use a bottle opener for this because it's not a twist off, so you know it's good. Um, it's got a really light scent, either that or I just I can't smell anything today. It's got a nice tart scent to it. It's not carbonated, and it's got, oh, I forgot to shake it. Crap! You're supposed to shake these really well. So, yeah, let me do that right quick. Um, I do notice it doesn't have the duck on it, but it's got a construction worker that looks really macho. And it's all like, ugh. But let's try it right now. You know, that's actually pretty good. I was, gonna I was thinking it was going to be a lot more sour than this, but it's really, it's kind of thick. It's, not, it's just like drinking a juice. It's not like one of those fake lemonade kind of orange egg crap. Um, it is thick and it is real good. I don't, I don't have any bits or grit or pulp or anything from it, so that's kind of cool already. Hmm. Tamarind is a very interesting flavor. It is sour, but it's not too sour. And there's kind of like a, maybe a small earthy tone and maybe kind of salty, but not really. So I don't know what that means, but it is good. Wow. I had tamarind candy when I was a kid. It was like tamarind candy. It had like salt sugar coating on it. It was really kind of good. But yeah, I like this. A lot better than I thought because it's not really an appetizing color. It's brown and people don't know what tamarinds are for the most part around here. So it's good to enjoy this. It is, it is, oh, it is pretty sweet though. Um, Got to mention that. It's really definitely sweet. So tamarind boing is sweet, a little salty, sour, kind of thick like juice and it's uh, the most important thing it's good so that about wraps it up for today's episode of BevNerd visit BevNerd.com do not forget about the contest twitter.com slash BevNerd you can find us on Facebook if you haven't already and also you can find a link on BevNerd.com to my wife's blog the no-no spot Ooh. Um, she's actually got a consumer product review on there so that makes me love her more that she's just the biggest nerd as I am. Bye, everybody.